What is up amigos? Today we're talking about car window aerodynamics. So for many of you, summer is here and that presents you with a dilemma. Should I open my windows in my car while driving to cool down or use the air conditioning? So let's talk about what happens when you open the different windows around your car. So there are a few conclusions. First of all, the main global conclusion is that really when you have your windows open a little bit, that's going to result in more of the drag being produced than if you open up a lot. So if you've opened up a little bit already, you might as well open up the entire windows and get the added benefits. So for example, if we have the driver's window here, and if you're in a country where the driver is on the right, then it's on the right or in the left, let's say you have the driver's window open. Well, opening it up just a fraction, like literally not even an inch, half an inch, 1.5 centimeters, it has been shown <laughs> that you get an increase in drag by 4% if you just have the driver's window open just a crack. And if you were to open it completely, that only jumps up by about 0.1, 0.2%. So it goes from about 4% to about 4.1% by having it going from a little bit open to completely open. So as I mentioned, if you have the window open just a little bit, have it open completely. And that goes for all windows really. But what about other windows around here? And we have combinations. So let's say we have just the driver and the front passenger. Well, generally speaking, the drag increases go from about 0.015 to 0.025, which is about a 6.5% increase, 4% to 6.5% increase of a hatchback, for example, with a fairly high drag coefficient to begin with. And that is for when the window is cracked open a little bit to completely open. And having it half open is already going to be at about 0.22, 0.022, sorry. So again, have the windows open completely for both sides. What about if we have the driver plus the rear passenger on the same side? Well, surprisingly, having them open a crack actually drops the drag coefficient increase to 0.009 to, and if you have it completely open, to about 0.015. So that means we have a 2.3% increase up to about a 4% increase for a car or more if you, the drag coefficient is much lower than about 0.35. So what this means is if you have the driver's side window open and you have someone in the back who wants to have their window open as well and they're on the same side, let them do it because you will not increase the drag any really and potentially even reduce the drag. We'll get into a second why this happens with flow physics. I'm just going to go through the numbers here so you know. What about if we have the driver open and the opposite side passenger in the rear? So maybe you're chauffeuring someone around or hopefully you're getting chauffeured around. But anyway, that results in a drag increase of 0.015 to about 0.02, so 15 to 20 counts, which is about a 4 to 5.7% increase. So that's going to increase the drag a lot more than if you have the person sit on the same side and have the window open. And what about if you have all windows open? Well, surprisingly, the drag coefficient increase ranges from about 0.016 to about 0.026, and that is about a 4 to 6.7% increase. So again, having a 16% a 16 count increase sorry for having all windows cracked open just a little bit is insane and having them open completely you only get another 10% a 10 count increase so it's only another couple percent increase so why does this happen well generally speaking when you have a window cracked open or even open uh, regardless of how much and whether it's the front or uh, rear it doesn't really matter too much what happens is the flow that's coming along here on the car gets pulled up usually about at the back half here. So if you have the driver's side open, this will still happen. If you have the passenger on the back open, this will also happen where the flow gets pulled up. And for sedans and or hatchbacks, this results in the rear window, or in the hatch hatchback case, the rear back here, that has a lower drag. So we reduce the drag on this face, and because we have a lower drag here, that results in the pressure drag increasing because you have the same amount of pressure at the front, lower drag here, a greater drag imbalance. So that is for the windows. The question then becomes, well, should I then run my air conditioner or not? Or should I have my windows open? Well, generally speaking, a, an air conditioner uses about two kilowatts of power around about that. Well, having all your windows open, as long as you're below about uh, 55 miles per hour, so 90 kilometers per hour, then having the windows open will actually result in you using less power than if by having the windows open than if you have the air conditioner on. If you go above 90 k per hour, 55 miles per hour, then you should usually have the windows closed and the air conditioner on. And also, 
regardless of which configuration you choose, if you have the if you have the windows open a little bit, have them open completely because you're going to get a lot more cooling with not that much of a drag penalty. So that is the car window aerodynamics and how having them open at different amounts changes the drag and the power consumption. And if you like this video, make sure to like the subscribe button and I'll see you next one. Peace, amigos.